a hard path. The life of a hero. People depend on you. Even if you win a battle, sometimes they die. I don't know if I can be the next Iron Man. You've got gifts, Parker. The world needs that. Your friends are in trouble. You're all alone. The question is, what are you gonna do about it? Superhero stuff. I gotta get you guys out of here. Get on the jet. Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. Oh, cool. What is that? I don't know. What are you gonna do? I left my suit in the hotel room. Why are you? Because I'm on vacation, man. Everyone's gonna see my face. Just get them out of here. Go! Just go! No, no, you don't. You okay? This is Mr. Beck. But you handled yourself well out there today. I saw what you did with the tower. Thanks. They were born in stable orbits within black holes, creatures formed from the primary elements. Air, water, fire, earth. The science division had a technical name. We just called them elementals. Versions of them exist across our mythologies. Turns out the myths are real. Like Thor. Thor was a myth, and now I study him in my physics class. These myths are threats. They first materialized on my Earth many years ago. I was part of the last battalion left trying to stop them. All we did was delay the inevitable. The elementals are here now, attacking the same coordinates. Our satellites confirm it. We have one mission. Kill it. And you're coming with us. Mr. Fury, this all seems like big time. You know, huge superhero kind of stuff. And, I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, sir. Please, you've been to space. Okay, here we are. Beat the rush. You had to rush out. Lucky for us, we got the best seats in the house. Let's go. You look really pretty. And therefore I have value? No. No, that's not what I meant at all. I was just... I'm messing with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You look pretty too. Oh my gosh, opera glasses. So cute. Can I... Want to go in on a pair? You mean let's sit next to each other? Yeah. Parker, are you in position? No. Okay. No. Why the hell you not? You don't want to sit next to me here. No, you, you just don't want to take us. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I, uh, uh, if you go ahead, I'll go grab us a pair. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm coming. I'm... Fury asked me to come up here and see how you were doing. He just, he felt bad about snapping at you. Really? You guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? <laughs> how you feeling? I didn't think I was gonna have to save the world this summer. I know that makes me sound like such a jerk. I just, I had this plan with this girl that I really like and now it's all ruined. I like you, Peter, you're a good kid. There's a part of me that wants me to tell you to just turn around, run away from all this, and then there's another part of me that knows what we're about to fight, what's at stake. And I'm glad you're here. Me too. But you're worried about your friends. Yeah. I just always feel like I'm putting them in danger. Look, just get them inside and keep them in a safe place for just a few hours and they'll be all right. It's really nice to have somebody to talk to about superhero stuff, you know? Anytime. I need a suit. A suit? You take care of the suit. I'll take care of the music. We 
start off in the Iron Spider suit. That was amazing. That was great. Obviously, we have the Homecoming suit, which is very dear to my heart. I love that suit. I forgot that I can't itch my face. And then there's the stealth suit, which is my favorite suit because it's totally different and totally fresh. The idea behind the suit is Peter Parker doesn't want to be seen as Spider-Man in Europe. Everyone's going to see my face. Get them out of here. Oh, oh, oh. So Nick Fury loans him this costume, something out of the S.H.I.E.L.D. special ops world. How's the suit? The suit's great. It's awesome. It's kind of Captain America-like with a Spider-Man twist. Do you think that's Spider-Man? No, no, no. It's like a European ripoff version of them. I was actually reading about him the other day. It's not him. And it also looks pretty badass. So the black and red suit, it's like wearing a work of art. It looks so realistic that it feels like you should be able to climb walls and you should be able to shoot webs. And the way that it's made is an homage to the godfather of the MCU. The world needs the next Iron Man. So good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> what just happened? Planning a trip? Mm hmm. Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> you look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not I'm right. I'm messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, too. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my phone call. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he going to be OK like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome. You got gifts, Parker. But you have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? You're all alone. Your friends are in trouble. What are you going to do about it? You don't want any part of this. He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. What's up, dickwad? All right. Um, so, Chris. Tom, Tom, is it? It is, yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Just Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, yeah what, OK, sure. Tell me about Spider-Man. Why wasn't Thor in that one? Oh, because, you know, it was really for, like, the front-running Avengers in this movie. You know, it's all about <clears throat> kind of yeah. Who's going to step up and take RDJ's spot? Which is why I ask, where was, where was Thor? That's why. The last time I saw you, you were, uh, you were a little bit portly. Yeah, yeah. How have you, I mean... Oh, it was, I just went full so method on that one. You, you did, know, that, did you? That's yeah. just my, my Oscar attempt. Yeah. And, and uh, so I sort of blew out intentionally. Sure. Good for you. Beard. Um, the beard was real. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I got it in the bag, actually. I've already cleared the mantelpiece for... I, I, I um, imagine so. I saw a copy of this down at the markets in Cuda. Did you? Sick. They've, they've recast you already. Who with? Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, really? Tom, who's your favourite actor in the whole world? You can say. Liam it. Hemsworth is up there, man. He's great. <laughs> He's great. In the Hunger it? Games yeah. is really good. Any other Hemsworths? That Luke Hemsworth is also yeah. super talented. Yeah. Super, super and talented. And if you had to have one more Hemsworth, any, would there be... I think... Would it start with a C? India Hemsworth has potential. She India. could grow up to be a yeah. great actress one yeah. day, I'm sure. Okay, let's move on. Tell us about Men in Black. I just uh, knew this one was going to be like slam dunk amazing. Thank you, thank you. Everyone who's seen it has said it's their favourite film in the history of cinema. 
They have, haven't yeah, they? Who's yeah. seen it? The smartest group of people right. in the world. We assembled them. Avengers and Assemble. Kind of like Avengers, but yeah. critically. Sick. And they went and watched it and said, best movie all the time. Why about this film? It's only super exciting and it's adventurous and the action's way bigger. and It's just like the continuation of the biggest cinematic moment in history. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, mate. Love you. Lots of love, man. Thanks, Tom. See you soon. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. What? Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work. Because I am going on vacation. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. And you're coming with us. There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my God. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? I gotta get you guys out of here! Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan! <laughs>